Take a look at these shapes. If you could apply one change to them, what would you do? Now, here's my take. Did I get your mind? If we look at this original visual, it looks wrong because we can tell that the shapes are not balanced on both sides. When things are out of balance, we notice it right away. An unbalanced composition can feel uncomfortable to the viewer. As one of the five visual design principles, the principle of balance refers to a satisfying arrangement or proportion of design elements. Balance occurs when there is an equally distributed amount of visual signals on both sides of imaginary axis in the middle. This imaginary axis is a reference point that helps us understand the current state of balance on our visual. Now, there are a few ways we could balance our composition. In this video, I'm going to talk about three types of balance. First, there is symmetrical balance. In symmetrical balance, elements are symmetrically distributed relative to the central imaginary axis. My favorite way to think about this is to imagine the design on a piece of paper. I could fold the design in half and it would be the same on both sides. Symmetrical balance is commonly seen in logo design. Many brands use it to help express their brand identity. Symmetry conveys the sense of stableness, which is especially appropriate if we are listing formal information. In this case, health insurance. If you were to draw an imaginary axis down the center of the screen, you'll see elements are equally distributed on both sides. Now, if we focus on this image on the screen, Notice that the blue ribbon in the background is not symmetrical, yet it still feels balanced on both sides. This is asymmetrical balance. Asymmetrical balance happens when elements are asymmetrically distributed relative to the central axis. Van Gogh's The Starry Night is an excellent demonstration of the asymmetrical balance. In the painting, the dark triangular shape of the trees on the left side is counterbalanced by the yellow circle of the moon on the right, which creates a sense of balance in the composition. Here's another example of asymmetrical balance. As you can see, while the image on the left appears to be more prominent than any other elements on this page, the combination of three smaller images and the dense text was able to keep the layout in balance. Asymmetry can create a sense of energy and offer visual variety. In this case, it is used to diversify the layout of the list items in a menu. The text and images are different, but similar in visual interest. By alternating between text and images on the screen, it helps maintain visual balance and creates a dynamic and engaging composition. Another type of balance is radial balance. In radial balance, elements radiate out from a central common point in a circular direction. This method can be used to draw our attention to the center of your design. For example, the weather app on the Apple Watch utilizes radial balance in its layout. The design mirrors a clock in real life, and you can see our attention is immediately drawn to the center of the interface. For us to read the current temperature of the location. You see, balancing is important as it helps us direct the viewer's attention to the right place. When designing an interface or a layout, try to take a step back and ask yourself if the overall composition feels balanced. By understanding and applying the principle of balance, you can create designs that effectively communicate important messages and captures the viewer's intention. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.